not get too technical. Grr. Okay. Anyways. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my current go-to routine for the summertime. I have been liking just minimal makeup, very glowy from within kind of vibe and not really taking a lot of products to do that. So if you're looking for something that's easy and glowy, natural for the summertime, this is gonna be the perfect makeup look for you. It also accentuates your natural eye shape. I noticed when I did no lashes in just a wing, I was like, wow, I really have a pretty eye shape. If you use the right mascara, and have that natural looking wing going, your eye shape will really pop. I know, you're probably like, I only wear lashes because I have no lashes, but trust me, okay? By the way, this video is sponsored by Estee Lauder. I'm using their Revitalizing Supreme Plus Cream on my face, especially to get this glowy look. Let me know down below if you're a glam summer girl or more of a natural summer girl. I'm feeling the natural vibes. I'm almost in the middle, but let's not get too technical. If you wanna see how I got this look right here, glowing from within using very few products, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, we're gonna get into this video. All right, I already did my brows for you guys. You can see my brows are on my face before I start my actual makeup because that would just take me five years and 10 days. I'm gonna start with moisturizer because that's super important during the summertime for me. I need my skin to look naturally hydrated and radiant without putting so much product on my face. So one of those moisturizers that definitely helps with the glowy looking skin is this one right here from Estee Lauder. This is the Revitalizing Supreme Plus Cream. It's a global anti-aging cell power cream. And let me tell you, this gets deep into the skin and it really does last. I obviously have been using a lot of this. I've been using it more during the summertime. As soon as summer hit, I was like, I need glowy, glowy skin. And this has really been helping to make my skin look really nice and glowy. I mean, as soon as I put it on, you're gonna see like it gives you a natural glow. And I like this moisturizer because it's not just a deep hydrating moisturizer. Like there's so many out there and I try them all the time, but this one has so many more benefits. It has that plus sign on the end of the name. And that's because it's a multi-benefit moisturizer with anti-aging technology and plant extracts that boost your skin's natural collagen production. So it's gonna make your skin look glowy. It's gonna feel bouncy and a a lot firmer right after you put it on. As you can see, example A, it leaves your skin super glowy, like you don't even have to put anything on it. So you have that nice base underneath and your makeup's gonna apply so easily on top of it. I've been getting more into color correcting, especially after using this guy right here. This is from Live Tinted and it's an orange color corrector. You can wear it on your lips and your eyes. It's in the shade Rise. And I'm gonna put that on my under eye circles to counteract the darkness. My under eye circles are hereditary. I've had them all my life. My grandma has them. My mom has them. Everybody has them in my family. But now that I have this color corrector, I noticed that it's really been helping my makeup look more natural so I don't have to over brighten my under eyes. I also do the sides of my mouth because it gets pretty dark right there. And then I'll just blend it in with my finger or beauty blender. I'm gonna put this on the top of my eyelid as well because I do have a lot of darkness up here and it is very discolored as you guys can see, like the difference. Whoa, got some darkness. This has been such a change for me. I know I look a little crazy right now. You're gonna look worse than better. Just let you guys know, but the color corrector definitely changes your life because it's an instant correction in the darkness. So trust the process. I have been into using concealers as my foundation lately. I just don't want a full face of foundation right now. I think it's the heat really that's been driving me crazy. So less makeup is better. I still want my skin to look good. I just wanna wear something that's not gonna melt off my face. I had a hair in my eye, sorry. The concealers that I've been trying out lately are this one from Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. And this is in the shade 2C. So I'm gonna take that and put it right on my under eye circle. I'm gonna drag it down past the under eye circle because if you stop right here, it's just gonna look like a reverse raccoon eye. So I drag it down a little further to move the eye away from the under eye circle and just look like a nice bright area. A cool thing about this color corrector too is that you don't have to use a lot of concealer whenever you use it because it just kind of fixes the problem 
almost instantly. So I don't do that many swipes, even though this is a lot of swipes, let's be real. So what I'm gonna do now is just blend it all in with a beauty blender, it's a damp beauty blender. Don't go in with the dry beauty blender, guys. Trust me, I've done it. it it does not very helpful. <laughs> Do you guys see the difference? I didn't use that much concealer and it instantly brightened my under eye and I don't have to like pack on the concealer for it. So that's why I've really been loving this color corrector. I'm going on and on about it, but it's just so bomb. I honestly cannot believe how much less makeup I'm using on my skin in 2019. And it's weird because it's like a skincare change is happening and skincare is really popular right now. But also like personally, I just have been more comfortable in my skin with minimal makeup. So it just makes me really happy and I'm glad that it's changing into this embracing your skin kind of moment and really amping up your skincare. I wouldn't have never thought of myself just using concealer as, as like my summer makeup. That is crazy. But I am also gonna contour. So let me just finish the makeup before I start talking about how much less makeup I'm using. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick right here in the shade Mocha. And summertime skin for me is cream over powder. So I rather contour with a cream than a powder, just looks more natural. And your face doesn't look as cakey. I'm gonna do that and then also contour right here, but I'm not gonna take it too far down. And around the forehead. Face is contoured. Now we are gonna add some glow. I want a natural glow for summertime. I don't want like a crazy glow. So I'm gonna take the Skin Gloss from Prisma Glow. And it's a cream right here that I use way too much. And I'm just gonna put that, I'm gonna press that into my skin. This also does a great job at hiding your texture. It looks better whenever you apply it like this. It actually hides your texture more when you use it before a powder. It adds that glow to your face and it's so natural and subtle. It's not like you're trying too hard. It just looks so beautiful on its own. And I'm obsessed with it. We look natural and glowy, so I'm gonna grab a blush. Blush has been my obsession this year and especially right now, it's so Perfect. I'm gonna use this ColourPop blush sticks. And this is in the shade 25 slash eight. Cream blush is the perfect thing to wear on your skin in the summer. It's light, it's effortless, it looks very natural, and it's just easy to do. So this is my go-to for sure. I just set the center of my face, but my camera died, you guys, so that's why I look more matte now than what I just did a second ago. But I took the Laura Mercier setting powder, I think I told you guys that, and I just took a little bit on there, just a tiny bit, and I just, hopefully it doesn't look cakey, but I put it right on top of the under eyes, center of the forehead, but not going over too much because I still want to keep that glowiness right along the mouth because I want to set the concealer in place. Still looks good. I'm so happy with it. Yay. But you want to make sure you go on with the big side of the beauty blender. Go over your entire face with it very lightly to make sure you don't have any harsh lines. Like sometimes we can forget our contour areas to really soften those up so it looks natural. And around the hair, if you do like the forehead like I did, and just back around the nose. And I put a little bit over my eyes to set the cream in place. And this summer, I have been loving this super easy eye look that's, I don't know, I feel like it accentuates my eye shape and it looks cleaner, softer, and just sexier, if that makes sense. And to do that, I use my Rustic Glam palette that, side note, just got stolen in Vegas in a backpack that I had. I had intentions to take my Rustic Glam palette to the pool and take some photos with it, and I wanted to change my makeup with it and do like another photo and change my outfit. We went to Subway, it got stolen, and now I'm using a new one. That's why it looks so fresh and so clean. You see, I haven't used it. But I use my Rustic Glam palette all the time. All right, so I'm gonna take this eyeliner brush right here from Vincent Longo and a little bit of Suede from Rustic Glam. That's gonna be the base to my wing liner. Just swing it out like that and then bring it in. So I elongate my eye first and then I bring it in for the thickness that I want, which is not too crazy thick. And then I kind of just press it into the lash line until I go a little bit halfway. I don't go all the way in my eye. I kind of want it to disappear. So I do that on both sides with suede. And that is my start out wing. I love this as a base color, but then I go into berries and I take chocolate mousse 
and then blackberry, but obviously you don't have to use Rustic Glamour berries. You can use any black brown, but these are just like my favorite mixes. So I take the black and the brown on this one and then I just go back over it. It just adds a really cool dimension. Also winging out with an eyeshadow is a lot easier. It's almost like foolproof and you can't really mess it up. Also, if you wanna fix it, it'll just glide to whatever shape you want it to be in without you know having to clean it up with a concealer or whatever. You could just kind of like use your finger or like a little brush and it just fixes itself, which is awesome. I just been doing that and I think it looks really cool and natural, you know? So that's my wing. It's super easy and quick, but for the rest of the lid, I actually should have done this part first, but we're doing it backwards. I use fringe which is this taupe color all over the lid and it gives the lid a really nice depth. So I'm gonna take the DSO3 Blend and Shade Brush with Fringe and use that all over the eyelid. I'm also gonna take that on the lower lash line. This is such a pretty color for all over the eye. And it's so soft and natural. It gives you just the perfect amount of depth without overdoing it or taking a step into, okay, this is not a natural look, this is dramatic. It's just the perfect little balance. You can even use that as a bronzer on the face and I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my Morphe E4 brush and dip it into fringe. And I'm just gonna use that on the outer perimeters of the face. I don't wanna take that over the blush. This is just adding some warmth to the face. For the eye, I'm gonna go in with this Rach Loves palette from Pixi. It's a highlighting palette. It's called the Layers of Highlighting Palette. And I really have been liking Lace and Clutch. So I'm just gonna take Clutch right here on the inner corner of my eye and tap my finger over it just so that it's not too intense. So that's pretty much it for the eye. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes with my current favorite lash curler from Sugar Rush. Then I'm gonna take the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. So many good mascaras, I don't even know which one to choose anymore. But if you just put a little bit on, it almost gives me a gel-like feeling. For the gloss, I'm gonna take the Peach Tea Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics and use that all over the lips. I keep going back to this gloss because not only does it smell good, but it's a nude peach. The color's really nice. It's not sticky on the lips. like. It's not gloppy or sticky and it lasts all day. So you don't have to worry about your hair getting in it and then it going everywhere. So I really just go back to that because the formula is so great and the color is perfect. We're gonna have all the bundles come back. They should actually be ready for you guys, the lip bundles. If you want to buy this gloss, you can get this one or you can get all three of her sisters. Pink Lemonade, Strawberry Lemonade, and Sweet Tea if you wanna buy all four of them together in Peach Tea. That is back and available on Dominique Cosmetics or you can just buy Peach Tea, which is an everyday kind of Color. I just want to curl my lashes. That's the only thing with this mascara is that it does take a while to dry But the Kat Von D and the Laura Mercier don't take as long and I just curled my lashes and They look really weird So that's probably the only thing like about this mascara is allow your lashes a lot of time to dry I fell in love with you and then I don't know anymore <laughs> Maybe I gotta give it more time. I'm just impatient. That's all Okay, we are gonna have spider lashes. We're just gonna have to live with it. I'm so sad. Oh no, this is turning spidery. This mascara is not bad. It just has a very long dry down time. And that's our final look. It's nine o'clock. I'm gonna go take off this makeup now. That sucks. I'm gonna go take off this makeup, go watch a show. Pen15, I don't know why I've been obsessed with that show on Hulu. But anyways, I'm gonna go do that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your makeup vibe for the summertime. I will be reading your guys' comments. Don't forget to check out these videos over here if you miss them. But before I let you go, I just wanted to ask you to try a more natural face and own it, embrace it, because you are beautiful. Let me know if you've done this by leaving a comment on one of my Instagram pictures. Just tell me. I had a natural face today. And I swear, I'm gonna just, my whole day is gonna just light up with joy. I just wanna know that you guys are actually embracing yourself and loving yourself as you are. I talk about makeup, I do makeup all the time, but it's also really important for me to know that you guys are embracing who you are with all of your imperfections because imperfections are truly beautiful. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.